hey guys welcome back again so in this video i want to share with you how i made this delicious italian pasta sauce or so you mean so the main ingredients for this recipe or the vegetables i'm going to be using is onions celery and carrots they are nicely clean so i removed the skin of the carrots celery and the onions now i'm going to start by slicing the onions Yes, I'm going to slice it into tiny yeah, pieces just the way I am doing it. So this sauce is called ragu in Italy. It is so delicious to, for your pasta. Yeah, so guys, after slicing the onions, I will transfer into a plate and I will slice the the carrot as well. So I'm going to slice it into finding your know, or small small short short pieces yeah don't know how to explain it guys so now i'm done i'm going to transfer it into a plate here yeah, i have my celery carrot and onions nicely chopped so next step i'm going to eat up some olive oil yeah, you can use any oil of your choice like vegetable oil for this recipe so i'm going to add two garlic to infuse flavor into this oil yes we just need the flavor of the garlic so like three minutes i'm going to you know fry it for three minutes and i will remove the the garlic so the next thing i'm going to fry my sliced onions yeah, we fry it for like one to two minutes before I will add carrot and celery. Please, if you come across this video, kindly share, like, and follow this page for more recipe. Thank you all for watching my video. I really appreciate. So I'm going to fry this for about three to four minutes before I will go eat with my blended beef. I have a combination of cow beef and pork meat here. Yes, yeah, so I will say to combine everything together, kind of break the beef into pieces. You can also use cow beef with uh, bacon, yes, for this recipe. Either, either you blend the bacon or you slice it tiny. So guys, now you can see the beef has fried for like five minutes now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it to cook so that we reduce the water I need a bit. And I will go in with salt to taste. You can use any seasoning of your choice. Minced pepper, like black, red, and white pepper is what I have here. So after adding the pepper, I added shilling flakes to make it spicy. Yeah, just a little bit. Then I go in with seasoning cubes. I will start to combine everything together. You can also add the leaf to it and you will remove it later after some time. So guys, I added red wine to this meat. Then I cover it to cook so that the red wine will dry off the meat. Then I stir again after a while. Now I'm going to add one and a half bottle of tomatoes puree. You can also use fresh tomatoes, you blend and then you use it. So I raise the bottle, then I pour in the water. I start to combine everything together. Now I'm going to cover it to cook for like two hours. Yes, this sauce takes a lot of time. And I keep stirring it and be adding water time to time so now i added half cup of milk to it yes half cup of milk then i stir to combine everything i cover it to cook for extra 30 minutes so at this point i will go ahead and stir again so 
keep stirring it so that it will not get burned. So guys, now this delicious pasta sauce is ready. And over here, I have my pasta cooking already. So I'm going to cook the pasta. Yes, it's been five minutes now. Then I drill off the water from the pasta and I add my sauce to it. So I start to combine everything together. So I'm going to add more sauce to it so that I will need to combine it properly. Please don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, guys. After that, I serve and then had grated cheese to eat. And my delicious pasta is ready. It was so yummy. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.